Equipment being delivered to what from next month will be the new home of Headquarters British Forces Germany. An accommodation block at Catterick Barracks in Bielefeld is being converted into office space as part of the organisation's move from Rheindalen. But why rebase at all in Germany when British forces will have all left by 2020? The running costs of Rheindalen are £55 million a year. And we save all of that money by coming up here to an underfilled um, garrison, which, which Bielefeld was. And, uh, and for a cost of just £3 million, an outlay of £3 million, we save £55 million a year. So when you start multiplying that by the, the five years of whatever we've got left, you're getting up to £300 million. So, you know, I think most businesses would regard that as um, a pretty good investment. Germany will also refund Britain for improving facilities it hands back. But HQ BFG's commander says that being at the heart of the British military community will also improve understanding of and response to people's needs. And I give vehicle licensing as, as the, you know, the one that, uh, that always springs to mind. Uh, we've now got the three vehicle licensing offices open across the garrisons. Those will definitely remain. And there will be other services we'll, we will deliver locally. But I think having people here who get it will be the big thing that will be the difference. From its new office block in Bielefeld, HQBFG says it aims to make the British forces' final few years in Germany good ones. I hope they'll see better. I hope that all the things we've done, we will continue to do, and we're looking to improve the way we do tax-free fuel, tax-free shopping. Hopefully, we'll you know continue to improve as we go forward. And you know, my message is, and I and I genuinely, I've enjoyed every you know posting I've ever had in Germany. Is come and get it while you can. There's still some work to be done on the new premises, but HQ BFG's 372 staff should begin moving in at the end of the month. Rob Olver, Forces News, Bielefeld.